Shalom and welcome to this episode of Ask Aviel. My name is Aviel. You can ask me questions so that we can share, learn and grow together. This is part 3 of a series in healing relationships. Matthew 18, 15 to 17. Now, if your brother sins against you, go and show him his fault while you're with him alone. Sometimes it's not a matter of two parties sinning against each other, but that they are trying to communicate with different languages and different communication styles. Most conflicts are not about missing the mark or transgressing any of the 613 commandments recorded in the scriptures. This episode covers the various personal preferences, personality differences, conflicting circumstances, individual peculiarities and idiosyncrasies. Leviticus 19.18 says, You are not to take vengeance nor bear any grudge against the children of your people, but love your neighbour as yourself. I am Adonai. The wisdom literature tells us in Ecclesiastes 7.9, do not be quickly provoked in your spirit, for anger settles in the bosom of fools. Proverbs 10.12 says, Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers up all transgressions. Proverbs 15.1 says, A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Proverbs 15.18 A hot-tempered man stirs up strife, but one who is slow to anger calms a quarrel. Proverbs 17.14 The beginning of strife is like letting out water, so stop a quarrel before it breaks out. Proverbs 19.11 Good sense makes one slow to anger, and his glory is to overlook an offence. Proverbs 21.23 Whoever guards his mouth and tongue keeps his soul out of troubles. Matthew 5.9 says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Luke 6.27 Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Luke 17.3 If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. John 13.34 I give you a new commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you, so also you must love one another. Romans 12, 17 to 21. Repay no one evil for evil. Give thought to what is good in the eyes of all people. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live in shalom with all people. Never take your own revenge, loved ones, but give room for God's wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says Adonai. Rather, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink, for by doing so, you will heap coals of fire upon his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 and 6 Love is patient, love is kind. It does not rejoice over injustice, but rejoices in the truth. Ephesians 4, 2-3 complete humility and gentleness, with patience, putting up with one another in love, making every effort to keep the unity of the Ruach in the bond of Shalom. Ephesians 4.26 Be angry, yet do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Ephesians 4.29 Let no harmful word come out of your mouth, but only what is beneficial for building others up according to the need, so that it gives grace to those who hear it. Ephesians 4.32 Instead, be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving each other, just as God in Messiah also forgave you. Philippians 2.3-4 do nothing out of selfishness or conceit, but with humility consider others as more important than yourselves, looking out not only for your own interests, but also for the interests of others. Colossians 3.13 Bearing with one another and forgiving each other. If anyone has a grievance against another, just as the Lord pardoned you, so also you must pardon others. Colossians 4.6 Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, 
to know how you ought to answer everyone. Hebrews 12.14 Pursue shalom with everyone, and the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. James 1.19-20 Let every person be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger, for human anger doesn't produce the righteousness of God. 1 John 4, 7-8 Loved ones, let us love one another, for love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. The one who does not love does not know God, for God is love. God enjoys variety. We are all unique. There is no one else like you and me in the entire world. Our genetic makeup, personalities, experiences, background, education, the way we think and interact with the world differs significantly with any other person. May the Holy Spirit give us the creativity to think out of the box in our communication methods with one another. May we be open to accept new ideas, new methods, new concepts, new perceptions and try new paths in our communication styles to bridge the gap and accept one another. May we see one another as unique and wonderfully made by God. God enjoys variety. He does not like uniformity, but He loves unity, especially among believers. Psalm 133 says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. In all your relationships, may Adonai restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. It can happen today. Today can be the day of deliverance and salvation for your relationships. Thank you for joining me. I pray that this message inspires and challenges you. God bless you and your family. Shalom. Shalom.